Oh, he just texted me now. You know, I never really thought you were gonna do this on short, short notice, especially like right after I got back from work. But uh, here we are. Well, oh, that's right. I was gonna ask you about that. But the other thing was, I uh, I find it yeah. So full disclosure for our audience: both of the guests that were supposed to be on uh, last second canceled, like literally, um, you know, within the last ten minutes at the. Uh, Start of the recording. I got a news last second. Thank you. I appreciate you making the uh, the trip from your chair to your computer uh, <laughs> to click on the link to uh, join the show. Um, you're just getting back from work. We'll talk about that right after the break. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. What's up? You're uh, you're getting back from work. I know just here. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, you're getting back from work at like eight o'clock. What's going on? Uh, I got in at nine. I work a nine eighty schedule, so it's nine hours a week a, a day for the first four days, uh, and then it's a two week cycle. The first Friday, I work eight hours, uh, four carry over to this week. And then the next Friday, I have off, which is actually this Friday, I would have off. Yeah, but you work from 9 to 8 today? No, no, no. Uh, I work from, <laughs> nine to f- I work from 9 to 6. Then I went to the gym. Okay. okay, so you're not getting back from work. You're getting back from post-work activities. I'm getting back from a workout, which is still work. All right, all right. Um, yeah, I think we've talked about your schedule on this show in the past. So that shouldn't be news to our uh, <laughs> our most dedicated listeners, I suppose. Um, you just made food, I guess. I guess, yeah, you're just back from all your work. Well, yeah, now I'm kind of in a met- metabolic window, which is why I have food with me right now. What do you got there, mush? I don't know. I got lentils, actually. Yeah, so basically mush. Spinach, oh. spinach and tomatoes. It just looks like that, but it, it tastes... Damn good. Yeah, the joke that I make at work is our cafeteria is pretty bad. It's actually the same uh, food supplier as the one Georgia Tech uses, to Darwin? tell you enough. Yeah, that's the same they one. Less. Well, anyway, they uh, so the food at our cafeteria. So anytime I, you know, there's, there's basically the way that it works is they have like, you know, pre-made sandwiches and, and um, salads and whatever. But then they have like one, I guess, entree. Which is, yeah, sorry. which is like the, uh, I can't, I'll get back to that. My camera hasn't been working lately, so I don't know if it was, oh, it works. I had a bug in my uh, Chromebook software, so I wasn't sure. It wasn't working for like the past two shows. Anyway, so the, we, I have, they make, they have one, the cafeteria at work has one like uh, entree for, uh, for the day. And I, my joke is always, it's just some combination of mush. It's always mush. You know they have like like whatever whatever it is. Sometimes it's like chicken with mashed potatoes. It's just mush. You know they had like this Chinese thing one day, but it looked like the fried rice looked like mush. It's always mush. Um, always looks like they're using. It always looks like they're using food that was left over from the previous day. But I don't That's know when like. But but it's always different food. Like it's not the same food. So I there's never fresh food. It's always leftovers. I don't I don't know how you could always. Only serve leftovers. It was never fresh at one point. Is what I'm really at. So, and it's well, probably um, overpriced too. Is it one entree like all the time, or do they like rotate it every week, or what's the story? No, they 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 rotate. It's a new entree every day. I mean, well, okay, really, there's like there's probably like eight to ten different entrees that they offer, and that rotates through. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, it sounds does. like what we do. Sounds like what we do at our cafeteria. It's always fish on Fridays, and the fish looks terrible. Like it, like it, like it's all it has freezer burns on it usually. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that looks like. Yeah, well. Uh, then again, I'm vegetarian, so I don't need to know what that looks like. Yeah, you don't need to know what that looks like. But yeah, the vegetarian options aren't great either. Really? I, don't I, don't, I guess I guess you'd have to. I don't know what you'd eat because it's only one entree, and then the other stuff they offer is like. 
chicken tenders. I guess you could just eat fries. Yeah, that would be great, honestly. A salad, I guess, but I think the salads have beef. <laughs> they might have salads without beef. I don't know. Eh, Yogurt, not really, uh... It's 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 a very small cafeteria, and it, it's you know, I, but but the, yeah, the, the, there's a way to make it better, and uh, we've we've talked about it in right. our uh, meetings with upper management, and uh, and it hasn't gotten better, but. Anyway, that's the end of that conversation. What, what else you got? It's actually a similar at my uh, at this place where I work. Um, basically, like every day we have different uh, we have a different lunch menu, but our breakfast menu is always consistent. Although there's a site next door for a customer that we support, they also do the same thing where they have a rotating menu every every day, but they have a set of items that they always serve. Every day, yep. which is nice. Had a twenty percent off coupon for their cafeteria. I had to I wanted to use before I uh, expired. Oh, they expire. Yeah, it's one yeah. of those like new higher onboarding things. Still, why would they expire? Why would it make it expire? I don't know. I'm just doing mine. There's, there's, there's no incentive to make it expire. I, I guess they could save themselves money by not having someone use it, which is kind of uh, a little sleazy. I don't know. Because then they're hoping you don't use it, even though they're giving it to you for free. Yeah, corporate America. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, you know, how, how's, how's work going other than the, the food situation? I mean, I don't mind the food situation, honestly, but uh, other than that, work's going great. I'm having a good yeah. time. Any secrets you want to reveal? Anything no. you can you can talk about? No? no. Nothing? <laughs> nothing at all. I'm sorry. Give us something. Give us, no, give us a little scoop. No. It was, it was just, just one thing, you know. No, to... that's not how that works. All right, well, you know. People are going to be upset there, I promise. Where do you work? I work at a nuclear power plant. I don't have any secrets to give out, so. You probably don't have any secrets you can give out. Well, that's what I'm getting at, yeah. Although I do, I, Same I do have to here. go through a lot of security to get into. I work for I go through a lot of security. Get into work. Yeah. You have all these procedures for attacks, for security threats. There you go. I mean, but, I work in I work in Chantilly. Go figure. Well, yeah. Are you you're done with your uh, degree that you've been pursuing? Is that is that no. done? No, I'm still, still working on at it. it. I'm still working on it. Man, yes. it's been like two years now, right? So it's an online yeah. degree. So. What we do is, so what I'm doing right now is just like basically take um, a class each class like each day, like each year, like each semester, just like one class just to, so I can still do work, but I can, I can still do school, but I can focus on work. Is the point. They're paying for it, I assume. Yes, they are. Terrible. Yeah, one class is still kind of, I guess it's not too bad. I mean, I don't mind it. First semester didn't go as well, but uh, since then I've had a good rebound and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it, so be good. Yeah. Uh, lentils, still good. Um, oh, yeah. It's actually um, three weeks since I had my own cooking. Really, what's going on? You've been eating out a lot? No, I was in New Orleans for two weeks. I was in New Orleans for two what? weeks. I came back, and I didn't feel like cooking, so I just uh, ate frozen food. Mm. What were you doing weekend. on your little trip? Was it a vacation? Was it kind of. something else? Um, I still had to work, but I graduated her residency programs. 
So we got to celebrate that. Unfortunately, while we were in town, we got wrecked by COVID. Hmm. So it wasn't supposed to be two weeks. No, no, it was supposed to be two weeks. Okay. I don't know if you had to like you had to you had to isolate for for a week or so. No, I did that while I was there. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you squeeze it in the, the normal timeline. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Just, so, you didn't, uh, so you didn't get to do everything. I guess you wanted to. But um, I mean, I still got to see my sister and her med school friends, and uh, we got to celebrate her graduating. Yeah. So it was good. It was a good time. She goes to Tulane, I guess. Is that? Yeah, Tulane. Okay. Uh, actually, the my parents just moved her to Houston so that we can um so that she can pursue her fellowship in pulmonary critical care. In Houston. Okay, that's it. That's not right around the corner. Well, yeah, but. Still, uh, still solid. Uh, sounds good. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about today? I know, I know you've had a lot of time to prep for this, and you've really been thinking about it. A lot of time to prep for lot. this is uh, <laughs> not really how I describe <laughs> the whole, it. The whole time. Uh, I'm not yeah, a comic, you know. I'm not like you. We're, I, I haven't done that in a while. I, you, you know, it. Was the last time you so maybe did it I should, you were still at Tech? Yeah, maybe I should get back into it. You know, maybe I'm out of practice. I can't just come up with stuff. I have stuff. been recording music, though. We, I think you talked about that last time. Is there anything new other than the uh, the folder you shared? Not just the folder I shared. Um, the, I, yep. I, wait, the, the Georgia Tech Football 2022, right? Yep. Yeah, um, I did push a new song to it. For the Virginia game, so I've got I've got my little preseason hype. I've got the Clemson, WCU, Western Carolina, Ole Miss, uh, UCF is done, Pitt is done, Duke is done. Duke I actually did literally the day after I got back from New Orleans. I was actually writing that thing on a plane. Hmm. At least you say how long? What's the process here? Like how long does it take? What are you doing here? Is it like a whole long writing process and you just whip it together at the end? Is it some something else? I mean, first off, it t- sometimes it takes a while for me to like get inspiration for like a particular opponent, especially if it's like someone you don't play. We don't play a lot, like like a like a Western Carolina or a, or an Ole Miss or a UCF. But like some of the other stuff, it's basically just. I, I revisit, like, oh, how have we done in the past? Like, what are these, like, m- memorable matchups? Um, coaches that they've lost. Like, Clemson, like, one of the bars that I have in there was, like, just based on the fact that both of the Clemson coordinators left for other head coaching jobs. Brent Venables left for Oklahoma. Um, and Tony Elliott left for Virginia. So I included a line in there. Uh, Brent Venables left, got a promo real sooner. Oklahoma. But they still got a defense that can really lay the boomer. Another, I have to throw that one in there. Uh, Tony Elliott's play calling, real cavalier. Again, head coaching job. Well, Tigers watch your were coming for real up in here, basically just based on the fact that we almost won last year. And then some of the rest of it is uh, just like random, like, oh, I'm trying to, it's just like mo- being motivated, like just motivational stuff. Is all. So, like, that's one example, but, like, and then also, like, base, uh, for, like, WCU, that's an FCS school. So, writing that is, like, at least I have the fact, like, I, I revisit the fact that, well, in our final year, we lost in Citadel. So, I throw that in there just to be, like, yeah, that's a thing that happened, but we're not going to let it happen this year kind of deal. The the Ole Miss one was uh, definitely a fun one to write. Uh, and then recording wise, you're just it sounds a lot better. I know you've got some new equipment. Uh, so recently. actually, um, 
a couple of these. So the the hashtag four four the redemption, uh, the UCF one and the pit one I actually use a new mic. The rest, yep. I use my headphone mic. Yeah. But I have a new mixing process. Okay, so go ahead and talk about the mixing because because it sounds pretty good. I was gonna say all the new stuff sounds pretty good. Yeah. So like after I pick out like my instrumental, I've picked up, I've written all my lyrics based on that, based on said instrumental, and also based on like who we're playing. Uh, the first thing I do is like I put the instrument. So I still use Audacity. Because, well, Not a sponsor. Uh, the yeah. first thing I do is so I put in the instrumental, and then I add a met track. So I didn't actually do that like the first couple of times, but after about uh, after I start when I started recording. Um, the week we Ole Miss song, which is based off of Wild Boy, which has a few regions with like no beat. So it's basically me just going off of like, what was the tempo again? What was the, where do the beats fall, down beats fall? So I, I add a med track in there just to keep myself square. It also helps to get the timing when I actually have to rearrange the tracks. And then I record off my, so the new, like I record. Uh, some of it off of my headphones, and then from there, it's basically like I try to normalize it, then I amplify it up to um, I amplify it, and it's more effective using uh, fiddling with basic treble values than just amplitude. So once I actually get a, for a preliminary round of amplification done, I well mess around with the I mess around with those bass treble values, and that's why it sounds the way it does. Because I record very much in the treble range. I don't know why, but that's just where I record. That's just where my rapping and sometimes my singing ends up. So I really have to say, you in the bring that out, and it sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot crisper. It, the instrumental, that's just something you found online. Yeah, I don't make my own stuff, instrumentals. So. I, I still haven't mastered the art of making my own instrumentals. I do a keyboard. Though. I guess that's the. Is that the next step? Is that uh, in your. Maybe. Theoretically, house? I could. Like, theoretically. Yeah, I, I mean, I, um, I feel like, it, you know, that would be the next thing you should. You could kind of work on is make your own instrumental. And then, then you can make it a little more, you know, it'll be a little more malleable for you. It'll be maybe even easier right. to mix it because you know. You don't have those dead spots and things like that, or, or you could put them where you want them. It could be a little more customized for uh, what you're looking for. Yeah. Because then I can just basically do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, it, yeah, it's just you know, something to think about, I guess. Yeah. But uh, I think you line it up pretty well regardless. So... Uh, you know, not something to worry about for now. Well, you just keep working on, I guess, mostly the writing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, basically, like, I mean, that is my strength: is writing and then rapping, rapping on top. Uh, I think I'm starting to get better at mixing, but I still have a ways to go. Yep. There's definitely improvements, I will say. So. Uh, yeah. I mean. I'm not a I'm not a professional uh, mixer. Like I'm not a professional producer. It's not gonna happen. Hey, it could be. Could be in the future. Do you know any? Do we do we have any peers who are like? I mean, I don't know about the airspace. Remember anybody in the band who was like? I know uh, Mir suggested using my phone as a mic. Um, I don't know anyone that does that professionally. I think you might be the, the most experienced at this. <laughs> uh, in in air quotes. Yeah, in air quotes. Uh, for our listeners, uh, we didn't even do air quotes. In air quotes, we don't do that. Yeah. I don't do that mixing stuff for a living. Maybe that is. Maybe that is your full time job in this this other. I'm not. I'm not quitting my day job. The other day job is just. It's uh, it's like, listen, can, uh, am I better than Antonio Brown? Am I better than Le'Veon Bell? Maybe. I, I got to start listening to their than, music. 
am I better than like say uh future? Oh hell no. Should I start should I start listening to uh, professional athletes music? Prepare your ears for the cochlear onslaught. Especially if you listen to Bell or A B. Um not good. I don't know about anybody else, but hmm. uh, okay. Yeah, but speaking of which, Antonio Brown did come out with a new album. I don't know how it feels. Oh boy. Great. We'll, 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 we'll review that next time you're on, I guess. <laughs> oh no, uh, someone already beat you to it. Okay. Uh, you know urinating tree? Yeah, I'm familiar. The YouTuber? Yeah, he already uh, he already did it. Um he also reviewed yeah. Antonio Brown's previous album and Le'Veon uh, Le'Veon Bell's album. Yeah, uh, he did not like it. It sucked. Mm. So uh for anybody who wants to subject their ears to that torture, it's called Paradigm. The, the new Paradigm. album by Antonio Brown is called Paradigm. Oh, okay, you sent the... Yeah, well, well uh, maybe I'll put that in the, in the description. I'll put the link in the description. No, well, maybe I won't. I'll probably forget, so... Hello. <laughs> uh, there are also live streams where he uh, reviews the aforementioned uh, previous AB album and the, pre and the Le'Veon Bell album. It's part of a show called Clickbait Sports, and the idea is whichever content creator out of their crew gets the most donations is then punished. Punished. Yeah. Punished how? This is the uh, that's the that's the Le'Veon Bell stream. And this is the old Antonio Brown album. Enjoy. They suck. Music sucks. Oh boy. Okay, maybe we should move maybe we should move away from Antonio Brown. You think? Um uh, <laughs> the NFL all but has. Well, you know what? I get. Yeah, I was gonna say he's he's done anyway. So maybe we really should uh, move away from that. At least he won a Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, you're right. He did. He did. You know, you almost you almost forget. Yeah, but now he won't be known for a Super Bowl or his, the fact that he's one of the most talented receivers in his generation. He'll just be remembered for uh, being a clown, as they say. Being a clown, you know, he's he's a complicated fellow. Have you heard people say that he might have CTE? Uh, I think any player nowadays that that you know acts like that off the field, you know, the CTE question comes up, and you know it's probably fair because you know it's it's pretty pretty violent sport given given what you go through on a daily basis. I don't know. It's it's. You think it's a CTE thing? Could be. Could I heard back from someone else. They can't be. Oh, that Chase was that was it? That was someone else. You try to get another backup plan before our attention. I... <laughs> Look, I, I sent out a spray of messages and uh, whatever, you know, whatever dart gets, hits the wall. Okay. That sort of thing. 
Don't I, I? I wasn't cheating on you. Don't worry. You can. You can. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not upset. Rest easy. <laughs> Besides, what's wrong? Uh, oh. I'm looking at. Uh, I'm working on a. I'm working through a tutorial for. Uh, I'm gonna find the value in memory. So the course I'm taking right now is Info Security Lab, where we talk about binary exploitation. So yes, I actually get to break things. You get to break things? Is that what you said? Yeah, I get to break software. Yeah, you know, it's, it's online. It's on a computer. It's not. To... So, when are you gonna start breaking breaking physical things? I'm not that kind of. I'm a cybersecurity guy, you know. Remember? <laughs> I mean, you could start breaking computers. Well, maybe. That's kind of the point. No, I mean like breaking them physically, you know, office space style. No. Uh, that's what you mean. Not interested. Oh no no no! I I, I get I get the uh, I get the reference. Um, like when they technically it's not computers, it's fax machine. But I get what you're getting at. Okay, sure, fax machine. Um, but Man, no, I, yeah, I'm not going to be trying to do that in these times. All right. I mean, that's, that's uh, you know, your choice, I guess. I wish I could, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, sorry, I'm just closing out of some tabs here. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to cover? This could be a short episode, you know, just like a a fill in. Yeah. Just I don't know if you got if you if you're busy this week, what you have going on. Just you know, again, last second. That's pretty much it. Just what? Just uh, school. School. Well, school, work, all of the above. You know how it is. Are you, uh, any, any new life plans? You move into a different place? You doing anything else? Uh, I wish. I mean, honestly, like, you know what would be cool? Um, so my sister moved to uh, Houston. It's got a pretty damn good view. Now, while I like my apartment and all, and it's got a re nice view of the mountains, if I really want to go to, like, if I really wanted that, uh, view of the, uh, eye line and shit, then it would be, um, I probably have to move to Arlington, and I don't want to move to Arlington because it's too that uh, damn expensive. Too expensive? Yeah. yeah. It's expensive, number one. Um, and number two, it would be a 30 minute commute from there to here. And as much as that would be, as much as I wouldn't mind moving out there, I actually like, if I wanted to, like, all things aside, like I wouldn't mind moving to Arlington, but like I have my job is here. I love my job. Um, I like where I stay. And besides, I'm only 30 minutes from DC, about 10 minutes from the metro. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not an issue. No. Uh, any social events? I mean, I don't think Georgia Tech football games count. Maybe they do. I don't know. I mean. I just play fris like pick up frisbee. That's the closest. But uh, I will say though, going to Charles Hall is fun. I want to try to go to Blacksburg this year. Blacksburg is that where is that the away game? I guess yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Georgia Tech and Virginia Tech is an away game this year. That's so uh... I gotta wait. For, I gotta wait for single game tickets to come out. I probably have to get them in like August or something, and then book my hotel. Just coming up. August is only uh, only a month away. At this point. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Book your hotel. Is it really that far? I guess it is. It's three hours. 
It's three you don't hours. want to drive back. You don't want to drive if it's a night. Yeah, it's a night. Three hours and I eighty one, which runs through the mountains. Okay. You could drive three hours. Not th- I was like not through the mountains. Why not? Don't read the mountains. Dangerous. Ah. It gets darker, especially like in October, November. It's gonna get dark early. Okay, but if it's a, if it's a noon game, okay. M- maybe. Maybe. You can go there. Either way. There. Either way, I do want to spend a weekend there. Okay. Yeah. That's... I. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. Like what? I. I. I know I want to make a weekend out of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, anything else you wanted to cover before we wrap up here? Not really, but uh, I hope your plans don't fall through next time. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I might just do this again. Yeah. Thanks for coming.